Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully cleaned our total theme. Now that is very lucrative. And also that is another logo. If you want to use your own logo, it's very simple. Go to simply our public folder. It is the public that is a backend folder. And that is our theme asset file. And into the theme asset file, if you go to that images, you can see that is one of the PNG and also that is another PNG. Simply change that PNG and then automatically that will be uploaded and our image icon that means our icon uh, is in i have already discussed about that things with you in our header into this header you can see that is our asset one of the icon as a logo smpng so simply rename it you automatically that will be loaded okay that will be loaded in here now in this video i want to discuss about that logout okay so for the logout if you want to work that is by default actually created if you go to our route list into the that is php artisan route list and you can see by default one of the um, method as a logout so that is actually comes from our auth and authenticated session controller as a destroy method right if you go to our auth and that means right now there is a controller uh, is a auth and into this auth there is an authenticated session controller and into this authenticated session controller you can see there is our destroy method Okay, so right now you can call that method rather than better. I want to, to create our new controller. Right now we don't need this. Better I want to minimize it. That means I close it, close it. I want to make it as a clean. Okay, now into the header. First work is we have to do here. That is our logout, right? Here we have to create one of the route. Simply create it route that is our in our header. And into this header, if you go and you can see that is our logout better i want to make it a little bit left side okay i want to make it um, by pressing that shift tab i make it into the left position so now our logout part so that is our logout and into this logout that is one of the head if i want to do, I want to create on the route link so that will be as a route i have already discussed about that things with you i name that route name as a admin okay admin logout that will be as an admin logout now we have to create our that route right now if you go to our web so into this web um, right now there is our dashboard right so there is our dashboard as an in admin index is loaded and before i have already created one of the group route so that will be just like that same first of all i want to want to create one of the controller if you want to create this controller our server is now running now here that is our basic project into this basic project area i want to create another new controller so if you want to create this controller i hope you already remember that part then that was a php artisan make controller and i want to create another new controller and i just name it as a admin admin controller okay I name it as a admin controller now if you click as a enter now that will be created one of the new controller as admin controller in our main controller area. Now you can see our controller created successful. Now if you go to our auth and now you can see that is our admin controller. So first work is we have to do, we have to include it in our web. I want to, want to take it, we have to use it. I simply paste it, right? So that is in our wish place, that is in our main controller area, right? That is in our main controller. So right now we don't need this demo. I simply remove it that is our app http controllers and then i have created that controller name as a admin controller right now that will be as a admin controller okay i simply loaded that admin controller create and after that i want to do that will be just a bit i want to take one of the group route but i copy it and then i paste it okay so then that will be i make it that will be for admin all route okay i put some of the note for you that will be the admin all route now our controller name as a admin controller so i make it as a admin controller that will be one of the group functions first of all i want to do and to take one and that will be as a route that will be one of the gate method and into this gate method area here i name it or that is one of the route name as a admin logout i copy it and now in our web into this web that will be our name our name will be as a admin logout right now we don't need any middleware i simply remove it okay friend i hope you already remember that part now i want to do on to update our url i want to put that url will be as a admin okay admin and then the logout so that will be as a admin logout and into this admin logout i want to create another method as a destroy method 
whatever the name actually choose i name it as a destroy method and here as i told you by default one of the method in our authenticated session controller as a destroy you can see there is a destroy one of the method now i want to do i want to use the same things better right now it's copy it okay i simply select it it started from here i simply copy it and now in our admin controller here i want to do and to create one of the method as a destroy method okay better i put that note as a and and method Okay, so then that will be as and method and into this and method area that is our file name as our admin logout i create that our method name will be as a destroy method so now in our admin controller i have created on the method right into this admin controller i have created on the method as a destroy method so now simply it will be authenticated guard web will be as a logout and here i'm using that auth okay also when you use that auth we have to use it like if you go that is actually the illuminate support facet and then the auth here make that sure you have to do you have to use it okay so now authenticated user which user is log login that user will be as a logout okay by default when you install that laravel laravel using that guard as a web guard okay and then the session is in invalidate perfect so friend that's all that's all you have to do now that should be automatically log out and after that log out it will be return redirect to our home directory okay home directory means which one home directory means that is actually our home directory i want to do i want to redirect it to our logging page our logging page if you want to access then that will be the logging right so now i want to do I want to access that logging that means when user will be successfully log out then it will be return redirect to our logging page okay now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our project right now right now that is our dashboard now click as a refresh okay now if you click as a logout you can see our url as a admin logout if you click as a logout yes you can see it's now successfully returned redirect to our slash locking page okay what about the page actually you want to redact you can redact it through our this url I hope friend it's very much clear right now we are successfully log out and now if after that log out if you want to access that dashboard click as the enter now you can see you are not able to access this dashboard great and after that if you want to log in with the user and password one two three four five six seven eight and now click as a login now user is successfully logged in okay so now user is successfully logged in and from here if you want to log out user is successfully log out now friend in our next video okay in our next video i want to update our another two of this page like that is our logging page i want to update and also there is a register there is another one i have already created as a register so that is by default jd stream um, authentication form right now i want to do want to use our theme because i have already you know, um, added one of the theme into the theme area if you go to that authentication you can see there is one of the page as a locking page another page as a register page so now there is a locking page and there is our register page now i want to update both of these okay i want to update i want to replace our default one i want to replace it in our with our theme okay so first of all i want to do and to update our register page that means that will be our register theme how we can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.